All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to go over what these four placards mean and have some video examples of each. So first one we're going over is 1203. 1203 is Avgas, aviation gasoline. Fierce flames and thick black smoke billow from a truck after police say it crashed into a barrier and fell off of a ramp on I-95. The tanker was carrying roughly 8,000 gallons of gasoline and the accident would end in tragedy. So that was an example. Here is um, an example of them fueling a aircraft. You can see the placard 1203 and this is a Cessna. Um, so the smaller Cessnas use Avgas and then the larger aircrafts use Jet A. So Avgas, you can see negative 49 is the flash point, which means that it's already mixable and ready to ignite in room temperature. So when you mess with gasoline, if you know you put any kind of um, gasoline on fire, it ignites auto automatically. It's due to that low flash point. So next up we're going to go over is 1993. 1993 is diesel. So here's a diesel fire. You can see it's, I mean, it's a lot of fire, but it's not exploding. Um, it's 1993 is the UN number and its flash point is 100 degrees. So it takes a long time for fuel to get to the point where it'll start burning like this. But once it gets burning and the temperature is at 100 degrees, that's when everything starts um, lighting off. So this fire probably started off really small and then as the small um, fire started heating up the area and heating up the fumes and the whole thing started reaching that 100 degrees Fahrenheit and above, then the whole thing will start lighting off and that's kind of how diesel, diesel looks when it's on fire. All right, coming up next, we are going over 1075. 1075 is one you always see on the roads and that is propane. All right, so that is called a blevy, a boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion. That's what they call it in the fire service, and it's basically when um, a container explodes because of the pressure inside. Propane 1993, flashpoint negative 156 Fahrenheit, and it's usually really cold. You can get frostbite if you turned on a propane tank and you felt how propane feels like coming out of the tank. It's very, very cold. Here's an example of some firefighters. So this is what would normally happen. It wouldn't really explode until a long time of being under fire with no venting. But these propane tanks are now made with venting. So what we're trained to do, what these firefighters are doing, is they're just cooling down. You cool down the tank so that it makes sure that it doesn't overheat. And then you let it slowly, exp it, um, slowly bleed off as it's doing here in the video. So above here, propane blevy, like I just went over, boiling li uh, liquid expanding vapor explosion. It occurs when a container is subject to extreme heat, such as fire. While the tank is being heated, the liquid propane inside, it causes it to expand. And it's expanding and it has nowhere to go. The safety relief valve will open, just like how these are. The safety re relief valves are opening, causing it to vent to the outside atmosphere. If the pressure inside the tank grows to a level exceeding that which the safety relief valve can expel it, then the propane tank may rupture. If flames or source of ignition is present when it ruptures, then it could result in an explosion. So probably what happened in that previous video, there was probably a propane, probably like a residential, um, or actually that one I think was a really big propane tank based off of that explosion. Um, but it, it was under pressure and the fire kept, um, kept burning, burning, and then eventually it ruptured the tank. And then once it, it ruptured the tank and the flames hit that, propane it, it explodes so it's important to know that a blevely will occur if the conditions are right such as being subject to continuous flame impingement over a period of time the possibility of a propane tank explosion is extremely remote so this is about as bad as it's going to get you're going to see it venting you cool down the tank you let it go and then as soon as everything all the propane inside here is burned off and expelled then it's fire safe so next one we're going over is the last one, 1863, and that is Jet A. So Jet A, 1863, again, it's similar to diesel, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. 
This is our bread and butter. This is what jets all have inside. They use Jet A. Our trucks are made to use foam and smother out those fumes and cool down the fuselage. But again, like when we light this pit, it takes a long time for us to light it off. You can put direct flame on top of Jet A and diesel and it won't ignite until the fumes get to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it, it does take a while. You can't just throw a match on Jet A or diesel and expect it to, to explode. It won't do it. So that's the video. Hope you like it. Um, please like and subscribe and uh, see you guys next time.